interesting about being a biological dentist because you don't do it to become incredibly wealthy. I had a patient, he wound up starting to come to me because I was holistic. He just wanted somebody that wouldn't use mercury and was into more natural things. He had all these gold crowns on his back teeth that were done at the, universe, the state universe, Ohio State University. They were over 20 years old. They were beautiful. Whoever did them, it was gorgeous. They were very nice work. And we didn't have to touch them for a long time. And he winds up with some decay along the edges to them, and they were old, they needed to be redone. We asked him if there was any changes in his health history, and he said, as a matter of fact, um, my liver's failing. And to the point where they think in several years I might need a liver transplant. And it's from copper toxicity. And I said, I'm sorry. I said, do you have any idea about the copper toxicity? He said, no. And they said, how's your health now? Well, you know, we checked with this physician. It was okay for us to do dental work. So we're going to replace two crowns. Now, a traditional dentist would say, I'm very sorry, and replaces two crowns. Might use all ceramics may use porcelain fused to some type of metal. What we did is we ran what's called the materials reactivity test. It's not the best thing in the world. It's not the be all end all, but it gives you an idea of, a subst of substances you can at least, uh, it's better than guessing. And what it is, it's an antigen antibody test. We wanted to see if we're taking these two crowns out of there, we want to put in the healthiest thing we possibly can, so let's put in something that has never had an antigen antibody response. So we ran this materials reactivity test, and I picked out the materials to use, the crown materials. And I also, when I took those two crowns off, I found mercury on them. Well, whenever you have mercury and metal next to each other, the current the electrical current that's produced, the Calvinism, creates a tenfold increase in mercury release. And the interesting thing is, and I have this slide, back somewhere, I guess it was early 90s, I have from a web page of Kerr, the leading manufacturer of amalgam, and it has all their warnings about amalgam. Do not use undergrounds. Do not use next to dissimilar metals. Do not place in children. Do not place in people with kidney problems. And there's this nice list of things. He sent his two crowns away, got back the results, and both crowns were 18% copper. So of course, he asked me the question, is that enough copper to cause my problem? And as a scientist that considers my, uh, a dentist that considers myself a scientist, I can't say yes. I say, look, all I can tell you is they're 18% copper. I would not think enough copper would come off those to create your problem. Maybe you had, were exposed to copper sometime and this pushed you over the edge. I don't know. He says, well, I'm not going to take a chance. I'm going to have you take out every single one of these. We did 16 Procevra crowns. In three months, his liver was back to normal. Now, if that doesn't get a dentist excited, this guy was incredibly excited. But the thing is, was it what I did? I don't know. I can't say that did it, but what if it was? And a traditional dentist just sticks in two porcelain fused to metal crowns and the guy dies of liver disease. A traditional dentist wouldn't think to ask, wouldn't worry about mercury under the crown. Is the crown have a high copper content? This is where biological dentistry can make a huge difference in a person's life. And this is how dentistry should be practiced. It's just, it, you wanna do things that are safe for the whole body.